Paul Oman really has the ability to bring a story to life. To tell the story while he's drawing the story, it's not just his easygoing depth of knowledge, but when he can put it to a painting, the whole thing just comes and makes it understandable and fun, and uh, you walk away with an impression. The Middle East, to me, it just opened up the Bible story larger than I had seen it. Let's start from Nazareth and just work our way from there. And they sometimes would have wooden heavy timbers up here, or if like I said, they arrive, what happens? Surprise. Surprise, what's the surprise? <laughs> Baby's coming. All right, when is the baby born? December 25th. December 25th. <laughs> Just like that. Paul does a beautiful job of creating this artistic perspective and also putting it in context from the writings of Kenneth Bailey and the cultural context of the Christmas story to help the details of it come alive. This the pinnacle and the dreams and hopes of the people were that if we could return back to the time of King... We Westerners have an idea about the story, but to see it through the Middle Eastern eyes really brings it to life and gives you a much better understanding of what's there. Sometimes it's built over here on the side. What was interesting is how Paul expanded our ideas around the cultural context of Jesus' birth especially in the idea of honor and shame culturally, and how families would have welcomed Mary and Joseph. I just left her there, alone. <laughs> this is unthinkable, by Bailey says. She wouldn't do that. Hey, it was clear with our church, we've known Paul for some time, and all we had to do was to say, we've got Paul Oman coming, and suddenly our room was full, and. Uh, that even made it more fun. So as he painted, he described some of the ideas behind why he was doing what he was doing. Something as simple as not using a straight line, but having a little bit of a curvature in what appears to be a straight line. How that draws us into the painting and into the story. Keeps you interested going all the way through, whether it's about the crucifixion, whether it's about uh, the Good Samaritan, or whether it's about the birth of Jesus. Of course, Another person and a guest, they had two beds in there that were not comfortable. In the end, Paul says all of these details aren't exactly what matters, but really what matters is how the birth of Christ broke into the world to bring the message of grace and salvation and hope to the brokenness and darkness of this life. He has a, an ability to really preach in a very different way. 